Thanks, Nate. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which is one reason why the UFC has teamed up with Cure for the Kids Foundation through a 50 50 online raffle. One lucky winner gets half the money, and the other half will create a brand new physiotherapy gym that helps pediatric cancer patients right here in Nevada. Joining us now is Brooke Conway Clevin, a doctor of physical therapy at Cure for the Kids Foundation. Welcome, Brooke. Thank you. How are you? Awesome. Uh, tell us more about this kind of gym and, and why is it needed? So as we know, chemotherapy is an extremely powerful toxin, but unfortunately, one of the problems that we see because of chemotherapy is when children, mostly our adolescents and teenagers, are a lot less active, it ends up causing a lot of issues with trauma to the other tissues, which the nerves and the muscles are the first problem. So you start seeing a lot of physical weakness and uh, neuropathy or damage to the nerves. Now, are you actually in, are we looking at the room, that the room you're in right now, this will be converted to the gym? Yes. So this big open space is actually what will soon be our uh, Department of Physical Medicine. <laughs> So, uh, you're, so Peyton behind you is one of your patients. Can you talk to us about his diagnosis and, and how do you work with him? Yes, so Peyton is 20 years old. He was diagnosed at 19 with lymphoma and he went from being a college level athlete, actually being scouted for minor leagues for professional level baseball and then had a very traumatizing diagnosis of lymphoma. So this is a perfect example of chemotherapy taking somebody from a professional level athlete to actually Peyton two weeks ago just started walking again for the first time after nine months. And now can Peyton hear me? Yes, hey, I can. Peyton, first off, thank you for joining us. What does it feel like when you hear the UFC is partnering with you guys to raise money? How does that make you feel? It's amazing that they're such a, it's such a great opportunity for us because Cure for the Kid doesn't have a lot for therapy, but we get by with what we have. So it's great that we're going to be getting so much new stuff. That's a, it's amazing work you guys are doing there. And Calvin, you said it was groundbreaking work. Why do you consider this such groundbreaking work? So unfortunately, there's not a ton of research in pediatric physical therapy, um, specifically in oncology. So there's very minimal treatments because of the lack of research. And so not only are we going to start being a research center for a lot of this, but we are also designing the gym, um, especially because places like UFC are partnering with us. This is going to actually look very similar to what you would imagine a college or a professional training room looking like. And especially when you think of physical therapy, that's not what a typical gym looks like. It's usually more of play equipment for young children. But for us, we are specifically focusing on that adolescent teenage age. So this is going to be an amazing athletic facility similar to what they might see once hopefully they're done with us. <laughs> it's going to be amazing stuff when it's all said and done. UFC Cure for the Kids Foundation. Thank you for joining us, by the way. The 50-50 online raffle. There are two places you can get tickets. UFC.bump5050.com and cureforthekids.org. Las Vegas Now. We'll be right back.